I asked you one time, I said, PB, what's, what's the biggest lesson you learned from building a big shop, building, building a team, building an organization, building a company? You said locking on to the wrong person. Locking on to, and, and so you've learned how to lock on to the right person. And speaking of uh, Dana White, I remember you, you explained to me a story of Dana White. He walked into uh, his house and there's a, a picture of Chuck Liddell. And he also said, I also locked on to the wrong person before, before that guy. And that was, that was Tito Ortiz. That's right. So can, can you explain a little oh, bit more about the experiment? Uh, locking on the wrong yep. person can yep. ruin your life. It can steal years away from your life. Um, no, it's just, look, the longer you're around, what you realize and what you value gets clearer. At first, it's all like, oh my God, it's so exciting, it's so sexy. You're locking onto what's sexy, and then you realize sexy's not enough to get to the next level. You know, who, who, one guy speaks better, he's got fancier degrees, and it's like, but no, that person's not the right person to lock onto. So in the book, there's a section in the book that it's a chart. I created this chart because I kept locking onto the wrong person until eventually I needed a system, because I'm a systems guy. So we created a system on finding a running mate, okay? <laughs> and it's six categories on what to look for and how to score them. Once, I'll give you three of them, character, uh, um, uh, uh, contact, uh, um, trust, and I score these people in different categories, right? And you sit there and you, know, you say, okay, let's see what this guy's at. At, at a maximum score of a 60, he scored 38. This is not the guy to work with. Mm. At a, at a maximum capacity of 60, this guy scored a 48. Okay, we got somebody here. Yep. But there's a couple categories that if they scored low, even if they, they got perfect on everything else, it's not worth it. Yep. It's just not worth it. You know, it, it, Elon Musk's book, I don't know if you finished it yet or not. Elon Musk's book comes out, it's like a couple thousand pages. Yeah. Big thick book, like That's job right. book. Yep. Massive, yep. right? And in the book, uh, uh, he gives his commandments, okay? And a couple th things he talks about in this book, which is freaking fascinating, uh, he says the following. He says the five commandments. Uh, question every requirement. Delete any process you can. Simplify and optimize. Accelerate uh, cycle times. Automate. That comes last. Then the algorithm had other updates. Additional five things he added. Number one, camaraderie is dangerous. Interesting. It makes it hard for people to call each other out. There's a tendency to not want to throw a colleague under the bus when you become friends with them, hmm. even though you know they're wrong. Okay. Hmm. So it's like, well, you know, I'm not going to say, let Pat say it. Man, I'm not going to say anything to because we're friends, but it's my boy. I can't say anything to him. It's yeah. problematic. Companies will fall because yeah. somebody's not willing to call out a colleague, right? Yeah, right? So we created a culture where it's like, well, such and such said this. Okay, what'd you do about it? No, I'm just bringing it up to your attention. Why don't you do something you're about right. it? Yes, you, Why you're bringing it up to me? Call yeah. him out. Yeah. Well, and then I would follow up a week later. You didn't call him out. Two weeks, you didn't call Oh, so you're scared of him. That's what yeah. you are. You're not, you, you, you're not ready to be a leader. If you can't call out a teammate, what makes you think you're a leader? Call him out. Yeah. And it, oh my God. But what if he says, what if he says it? Call him out. And so, okay, I'm going to call him out. I was that guy. I was yeah. the guy that would call out my peers. And I was the guy that you almost couldn't get too close to. You get close, and I'm like, shit, every time this guy's like constantly doing that because camaraderie could become that little, you know, where, where I'm not telling you what mm -hmm. areas, blind spots that you may have. Like, look at the second one. It's okay to be wrong, just don't be confident and wrong. Three, never ask people to do something you're not willing to do. Great. When hiring, look for a positive attitude. A skill can be taught. A positive attitude cannot be taught. You ready for the last one? Oh, go. my gosh. This is, this is like all me, the last one. A maniacal sense of urgency is a must. Let me read it again. Mm. His words. A maniacal sense of urgency is a must with musk. A maniacal sense of urgency is a must. So what's the point? Hey, can you call this guy and tell me what he's asking? Yeah, I'll call him. 30 minutes later, you haven't called him. Why haven't you called him? Well, I'll call him. Call him. Call him right now. You ain't doing nothing. Right, right. Call him. So, so you would watch and you're like, okay, hey, um, this book is a good book for you to read. A month later, did you read the book? Oh, I haven't ordered it yet. You're the wrong guy to work with. Mm -hmm. I just told you order the book. I need to tell you 17 times. It's the right book for you. And so, hey, Here's what I would do if I read da 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 da. Okay, I'll get to it. Don't do it a week later. You're the wrong guy to lock on to. So the speed of taking counsel and how quick you move shows there is not the willingness to want to improve and you lack urgency. So now, one time it doesn't happen, it's fine. Two times it doesn't happen, concerning. Three times you don't do it, it's a pattern. That's just who you are. You don't move that quickly. I don't have time to wait for you to choose to move at the speed. So if I got you and I got him I'm working with, 
I give the same recommendation. You, within a week, read it and send me an email on nine things you learned from the book. He takes three months, and then the next time I challenge you and I say, I would go to this event and learn this, 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 that. You do. He doesn't. Takes him six months. The next time I say, can you call these three guys and get back to me and tell me what they wanted from this? You call them like this. It takes him next day. I give you five leads. You call the leads within five hours, within one hour. He calls the leads by the end of the night. I'm wasting my time working over there. Mm. If he's got better degrees, better whatever, it can be all that stuff. I'm wasting my time. You're positive. He's not. What am I doing working with the other guy? So wasting my time. So in companies, like I'm reading this book because right now we're, we're, we, my, my obsession right now is recruiting 10s in a company. And 10s are very expensive. But you can recruit a 10 that is coming for the money, but they don't care what company you're working for. Then you're not recruiting a 10. You're renting a 10. Ooh. I want to recruit a 10 that believes in the vision, believes in the mission, believes in the cause, dying to be here, and it's worth a lot of money to pay. Yeah. I want that guy. Steven Schwartzman in his book, Steven Schwartzman's a $30 billion auto guy. He's the guy where him and Larry Fink had a fallen out. Fink goes, does BlackRock, ESG, bullshit, bullshit. Blackstone <laughs> here is Steven Schwartzman, okay? Steven Schwartzman, a $30 yeah. billion auto guy. Yeah. His book is one of the must-read books out there. In his book, he talks about... They start noticing the difference between having tens and hiring eights. And it's very common between him and Reed Hastings. For Netflix? From Netflix, yeah. No Rules Rules. Mm -hmm. They realize, it's, whatever the number is, a 10 is the equivalent of 28s. Wow. So guess what? If an eight is a $200,000 a year salary guy, but a 10 is 20 times the eight, what do you pay the 10? Think about that. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Is that going to be a... $3.2 million person. Talking to Tommy Matola, Tommy, like, Tommy, hey, how'd you take Sony from 800 employees to 13,000 employees? And you've represented, he was Holland Holt's first manager. You've represented Frank Sinatra, you've represented Shakira, Celine Dion. You've represented, you know the song with Celine Dion, by the way? That was the day she was coming in to do the draft. That's not the, when she came in, she had two cups of coffee, and she normally doesn't do that before singing, and she was just coming to show the song, I think she did for uh, Lion King. I think she did the Lion King song, whatever song it is. She came in, not feeling like she's going to perform. She came off the plane. On the first time they sang the song, that's the song that we all listen to for the rest of our wow. lives. She never did it twice or three times. First time. She said, that's freaking sick. You were on fire. They used it. This is him. Then he brings Michael Jackson, calls him the devil. Michael Jackson said, you're the devil because he negotiated a contract. You're upset at him. I said, Tommy, how'd you do it? He says, I had, I had six generals. I said, what'd you pay these generals? He says, eventually I have to pay him a lot. I said, what's a lot? Somewhere between 1 million to 6 million a year. I said, okay, that's all I need to know. Got it. So I'm looking for my guys right now, the tens that bought into the vision. Yeah. And I know at, at, at this level, we can't pay them the money because the company, you know, we're not yet doing something. But eventually, you're going to have to pay them. Yeah. With you guys, I found you as a general. At that time, you were making 160 a year. Now, you're making 160 a month as your minimum wage. <laughs> Think about it. 160 <laughs> times 12 is, is your minimum that's wage. True. But you're making 160 yeah. a year at that time. Now, yeah. you're making 2 million yeah. a year. Vargas, what a general. Both yeah. of you guys took the lead with yeah. the company, took it to a whole different level. So now a company, you look at us where we are, you know, yeah. company's grown to, it's no longer, hey, it's PBD, PHP has got you, you got Vargas, you got Palayo, you got Gaines, you got Hearts, you got all these yeah. people that are doing what they're doing. Orianas, you got all these people that are doing what they're doing. Ricky and Erica, all these people that are doing what they're doing. How did that happen? They, they chose to lead. You know, they chose to, you have to find your general. So for me, everything right now, all I think about right now when it comes down to the business, Matt, I'm in hardcore recruiting mode. That's all still, I think about. Oh my still. Gosh, are you, if, but I thought you made it, PBD. Oh, oh my God. If you, you only could. knew, <laughs> if you only knew what we're going to be doing next, um, I am so excited about the next 20 to 40 years. So excited. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.